The eruption of Tal Volcano in Tagatai, the Philippines, is imminent, according to government organizations. Hey guys, what's up? How is everybody? I hope you are safe, healthy, and prepared. Today we're bringing you a little bit of a different video considering the Tal Volcano and the eruption that is happening right now, just because Nelly and I both have been receiving so many messages, comments, and advice from you people out there uh, telling us how to prepare we thought it would be great to have one spot, one video to bring all these infos together and share it uh, to all of you guys to make it easier for one to find information and second of all for your families abroad, OFWs, expats, uh, also our friends and families to see what the situation is and know where to find all the infos. So in the des description box of this video we have put together a curriculum of information, yeah. links, resources that you guys need to check out but don't worry we'll talk about it in this video just a quick overview of the timeline of what happened on the 12th of january and the days leading up to the 12th of january there were a lot of seismic activities around tall volcano there were a few big bangs and the volcano started spewing up ash into the air and that ash has already traveled all the way to manila and the areas around manila Heavily affected areas are, of course, the areas around Tal Volcano, Tagatai. Over the past few hours, since around 4 o'clock in the morning, there have been frequent earthquakes at yeah. Tal Volcano. The weakest one was about 1.9. And, and the, the strongest was 4.1. The strongest was 4.1, correct. Uh, so that is the, the current situation. The government is saying that the volcano will erupt. Eruption is imminent and they say it can be hours to days. Of course, there is still some hope that it won't erupt and we'll dodge the bullet. But as it stands now, chances are it will erupt very soon. So just to give you a quick update how we are feeling today, um, Mike and I woke up with a headache today. I had a little bit of a ache in my chest and we went outside to get some food provisions for the next few days just to stock up on water and food. Um, and I realized it was really hurting a lot. Um, I took out my contact lenses. Yesterday it was really bad. Today it's better, but still my eyes feel very tired and very yeah. itchy. And we can see the, the dust during daylight in Makati yes. today. Uh, if you haven't seen the video from yesterday, we did a quick drive around to assess the situation. The video will pop up right here. Um, but yesterday we got a lot of messages from people telling us that we should use face masks, yeah. respiratory masks. And we actually had these uh, Watson's face masks that Nelly bought in Singapore. Yeah. Now these masks, we were recommending them yesterday, but a lot of people sent us a message today. Yeah, that you should use the official N95 face masks that filter the air. But unfortunately, it's sold out everywhere. And I contacted a friend who works at the hospital and they said they don't have any uh, N95 masks anymore. Yes, said friend gave us some advice. Uh, to take some tissues or paper towels, two layers, place it inside the mask and yeah. use that mask. So just cover it. Yeah, cover your face with that mask. Um, as a, as an, uh, an engineer and a guy that's into physics, I would guess taking one of these tissues and making it slightly moist will help even more to filter up more bind ash in the well. tissue. But just be careful binding ash in a tissue and having it moist on your face can cause irritation. So yeah. take that with a grain of salt. Um, one thing that I've been finding extremely helpful is uh, checking up on a few government Twitter sites and uh, Facebook pages. Um, all these government entities have been really, really good at updating the public over their social media channels, so really two thumbs up. We have linked the free Twitter pages that I've been following up on to government Twitter pages, and I also have ABS-CBN and uh, GMA. Uh, Twitter accounts open on my uh, browser at all times and I keep refreshing and checking up on it. Guys, if you go outside, use something to cover your um, mouth, nose, and if you can, eyes as well. Um, as mentioned, this is not 100%, yeah. but it is better than nothing. Yeah. Um, this is not something you should take lightly because if you uh, start having problems with your lung or if you get this uh, contamination in your lung, you might not feel it right away, but it can still happen to you like a week later even. You can start getting uh, into respiratory distress, so really, really take care of it. Don't take it lightly. Try to stay at home. I know not everybody can stay at home. If you can't, take precautions. 
if you're driving with your car um, use the don't use like fresh air coming from outside in there's like a button you can press in every car that just takes the inside air of the car and kind of rotate it, rotates it so that is better yeah and um, on the topic of cars the MMDA uh, published on their Facebook page today that the coding uh, system in Manila has been uh, postponed it's yeah, it's been cancelled for today and I'm sure it'll be cancelled for tomorrow but they have not announced that yet for Monday at least if you're driving with a car that has a license plate with the one or two ending with a one or two um, usually you wouldn't be able to drive Monday today but today you can drive and we'll we'll see if there will be an update about the following yeah. days. So that that is the official site for tra Manila traffic adversary. Yes. Yeah. Then the next point, uh, airports. Manila airports did shut down yesterday, cancelling all flights. Uh, as of today, they have um, started a few flights again, just to reduce the congestion at the airport and some airliners that are going on a route that's out of, out of the way of the uh, of the ash clouds have, have continued again and, and people can get on the trip my personal advice as a person that travels a lot if you have plans to fly into manila or fly out of manila in the next few days try and contact your airline and try and reschedule your flights yeah. or reroute your flights if you have an urgent international flight that would start in Manila, maybe you can divert and drive down to um, the Legaspi airport and then either fly to Cebu or Davao and get your international flight from there. If it is not an urgent flight, try to either cancel it or reschedule it um, because it's not worth the risk of first of all sitting in an aircraft that might get in an unsafe situation and it's not worth being stranded at the airport also the more people that are stuck at the airport the worse the situation gets for everybody because airports start running out of water food um the, the traffic situation gets worse so you know if you can avoid the airport yeah um <clears throat> we will also link the official immigration department uh, for updates and also the official naya airport website which uh, covers the, all, all of the information of the airlines and everything that is going on um, in the airport and yes. Yes, everything that you need. Then for those of you that are, are doing the right thing and are staying at home, uh, there are a few precautions that you should take as well at home. Uh, a lot of people told us you should not use the air conditioning. That is only partly true. Um, most air conditioning systems use the air from inside your apartment they cool that air and bring it back into the apartment without including uh, contaminated air from outside. But what can happen is you might damage your uh, AC system outside, your, your heat exchanger outside because it could get clogged up if there's heavy ash in the air. Now, ash can be everywhere. It doesn't mean like you don't necessarily see it, but it can be yeah. everywhere. So even with you, with you coming um, in from outside, you might have brought it in and that ash can uh, land on food, on water containers. Yeah. Um, so whenever you're using plates, dishes, cups, cutlery, and they've been outside, give them a good rinse before you use it. Any water containers that were open, replace the water, replenish, uh, replace the water and keep it in a closed container um, because the ash is it, it's poisonous and if it gets into your system, it might have dire consequences. Yeah. Um, we also have a screenshot of air like the description for air conditionings, uh, which we'll put in right here. Yes, and and also we will link the resource in yes. down below because it's always better to use the links in the description that, uh, down below because something might get updated. And if I put any information uh, on the screen or in the video, maybe tomorrow that is yeah. not not up to date anymore. Maybe that is different. Um, I definitely want you guys to follow those accounts that I have mentioned and keep an eye on it because if further areas um, are being evacuated you need to know as soon as possible yeah so we actually have a trip uh, an upcoming trip uh, which we might reschedule so um, we'll just keep an eye on the official statements exactly prepare a so-called go bag as Nelly and I have the go bag has some water some basic medication a change of clothes and some fresh water and passports ids and cash just keep one of those ready so if anything happens you can grab and go be out of there yeah so today we actually woke up to uh more devastating news um we 
we're informed that the ring of fire is actually uh, highly active at the moment, which includes uh, three volcano eruptions. Um, besides Tal Volcano, um, another volcano erupted in Japan and um, I think in Buenos, Buenos Aires. Aires? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, we will also link this info in the description down below, so you can keep an eye on that, um, just just in case. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen in the next few days. Maybe I don't know. Mm. So the um, description box use it as a resource to uh, follow those government websites. We will use the pinned comment on this video to give you updates because we can edit that without any problems. Yeah. So the pinned comment will give some updates. Uh, keep the conversation going in the comment section down below. If you have questions or advice, please let us know in the comments down below. If you have more available face masks or know where to get them, please share it with this community. If we see that in the comments, we'll try and pin it or add it to the pinned comment as well. Yeah. Um, some of you reached out to us offering up masks. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. We appreciate um, it. We appreciate it a lot. And one thing to me has been astounding again. It is the uh, sense of community uh, amongst Filipinos helping out. Um, and this is exactly what we talked about in a recent uh, radio interview. Uh, the resilience of the Filipinos and the sense of community will help us out of this bad, bad situation. I saw our friend David was driving up from, uh, from Tagatai yesterday and there was a bunch of traffic and the cars couldn't see out their windows anymore because of the ash and they'd run out of washer fluid already so the people living in that neighborhood came outside put their own health at risk to spray off yeah. the cars so the people so could people see again well. yeah, yeah not asking for anything in return having to pay the the water bills themselves with which isn't cheap yeah so you know huge thumbs up and thank you to those guys thank you to people like that that have the sense of community and have the sense to help out others in their community. Yeah, I even saw a viewer um, is keeping me posted. So I even saw a viewer from that area is keeping me posted on this situation. Uh, people are giving out free food. Um, there are donations happening in that region. So um, you, you can't really go there right now. So I would stay away from the danger zone. But what you can do is to donate. So I will put uh, the links for the donations down below. Please use the, once again, official links for further advice. All right, guys, if you have any other resources that you want to share with us, please let us know in the comment section down below. And uh, you can also message us on Instagram. We'll be monitoring all our channels over the next few hours um, and keep you up to date uh, for any changes also on Instagram. We'll also link our Instagrams down below. Yeah, I will just quickly mention what should be donated. Uh, ready to eat food, best way is uh, canned food, uh, water, cash medicine, mats, face masks, um, also cash donations, and then hygiene kits. Yeah, I'll link everything down below. Yes, if, uh, if you are from any uh, charitable organization or uh, government association that needs to help spread message, please reach out to us. We have this community yeah. and we can use the community to spread the message even better. All right, guys, be healthy, be safe. We'll uh, stay in contact with you and um, hopefully, hopefully uh, it doesn't erupt at the end of the day. Hopefully everybody is safe and this will be over soon. So yeah, All right. keep on smiling, guys. God bless, see you later.